Hi everyone, you're welcome to Agena's Mathematics class. In this video, we want to look at some applications of set theory. If A is a finite set, then we shall denote the number of elements in A by N of A. If A and B are two finite sets, then number of elements in A union B is equal to n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersect b. Similarly, if a, b, and c are three finite sets, then the number of elements in a union b union c is equal to n of a plus n of b plus n of c minus n of a intersect b minus n of a intersect c minus n of b intersect c plus n of a intersect b intersect c. We shall use these relations to solve some examples on the applications of set theory. The first example is this. In an evening lecture organized in a study center for the teaching of English and mathematics, 25 offered mathematics and 32 offered English, while 13 offered both courses. How many candidates enrolled for the lecture? Represent the information on a Venn diagram. We shall solve this by using the letters M and E to represent mathematics and English respectively. From the question, we can see that N of M is equal to 25. N of E is equal to 32. N of M intersect E, that is the number of candidates that offered both courses, is equal to 13. N of M union E is unknown, so we shall represent it with letter X. But we know that N of M union E is equal to N of M plus N of E minus N of M intersect E. So if we substitute the values, we will have x is equal to 25 plus 32 minus 13, and that gives 44. So 44 candidates enrolled for the lecture. Now this is the Venn diagram that represents the given information. In the diagram, we have two circles, one for mathematics and the other for English. On the intersection, we have 13, while on the circle for M, we have 12 and 13. The sum gives 25. On the one for English, we have 19 and 13. The sum gives 32. So, we can now go to example 2. In a class of 42 students, each student offers at least one of music and physics. If 22 students offer phys physics and 28 students offer music, how many students offer both subjects? Represent the information on a Venn diagram. All right, let's solve this we will write down what is given to us in the question. Now from the question, we can see that N of P, that is number of students that offer physics, is equal to 22. N of M is equal to 28. N of P union M is equal to 42. N of P intersect M is unknown, so we represent it with X. But we know that N of P union M is equal to 
n of p plus n of m minus n of p in intersect m so if we substitute the given values into that equation we will have 42 is equal to 22 plus 28 minus x and if we solve we shall have x is equal to 8 that means the number of p intersect m is equal to 8 which means that 8 students offer both subjects now this is the Venn diagram this is the Venn diagram that shows the information given to us in the question we have two circles here again one for music one for physics on the intersection we have eight on the circle for physics we have 14 and 8 and the sum gives 22 while on the one for music we have 8 and 20 the sum gives 28 now let's go to example 3 in preparing a timetable for a class of 38 students the following facts were taken into consideration 25 students take history 27 take french 28 take agricultural science 20 take both history and french 23 take both french and agricultural science while 21 take both history and agricultural science if 18 take all the three subjects how many students offered none of the three subjects? Express the information on a Venn diagram. Now let's look at the solution. From the question given to us, uh, we have um, the number of students that offer history is equal to 25. So N of H is 25. And the number of students that offer French is equal to 27. So N of F is 27. Then those that take agricultural science is 28. That means N of A is equal to 28. Now let's look at the intersections. Those students that take both history and French are 20 in number. So we have N of H intersect F equal to 20. Then those that take French and agricultural science are 23 in number. So N of F intersect A is equal to 23. Again, the number of students that take both history and agricultural science is 21. So N of H intersect A is equal to 21. Now, let's see those that take all the three subjects. For the three subjects, we have 18 students. So that means N of H intersect F intersect a is equal to 18 okay uh we have um, a total of 38 students in the class that means n of u which is a universal set is equal to 38 so we will now have n of u equal to n of h union F union A equal to 38. Let those offering none of the subjects be represented by X. Then the number in the universal set will be equal to the number of students that take history plus the number of students that take French plus the number that take agricultural science minus the number that take history and French minus the number that take both French and agricultural science 
minus the number that take history and agricultural science plus the number that take history french and agricultural science plus x which is the number that take none of the subjects so if we put in the values we will have n of u is equal to 25 plus 27 plus 28 minus 20 minus 23 minus 21 plus 18 plus x so uh, we will obtain 38 is equal to 80 minus 64 plus 18 plus x and if we continue solving we will have 38 is equal to 34 plus x and x is equal to 38 minus 34 which gives us x is equal to 4 therefore the number of students that offer none of the three subjects is four now here is the venn diagram that represents the given information you can see in the venn diagram that we have three circles there one for french history and agricultural science and all the values have been put into the right portions in the circle so you will look at it and uh, see how the values were fixed in there okay thank you for watching this video please don't forget to like and share and if you have any comments you can put them in the comment section if you haven't subscribed to this channel Please do so right away and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified of our uploads. Thank you once again.